All right, lovely. So this is Ariella from the Tree of Life um, Tarot. And now I am going to look at Prince Harry's let's see, past, present, and future love life. So let's take a look at past, present, and future love life for Prince Harry. Alrighty, there we go. We all know what that card is about, definitely. And there we go. And what's hidden? What is hidden is a message. A message for for him. Alrighty, so let's start. The past, we all know it. Um, married haste, repented pleasure. Um, paying with the buckets, bucket loads of money to make uh, Miss, Mrs. Marco um, a, an honorable woman making an honorable woman out of her um then we have the present we have the world something unfinished something not mm, he, he we have the world stage at the same time it's him see, being seen on the world stage as the king of cups reversed so the King of Cups reversed is actually not a good thing. These are manipulators, emotionally unstable men, men who are emotional manipulators, who are um, usually, they, they could also be um, um, a man-child, a, a man who is demanding that uh, his word is listened to, that he is, um, you know, follow that uh, his his word is the final word at the same time he's doing it by you know um a, digging his heels in the ground like a child um, it, again, it's not a good thing so i am not going to use those cards but i will so what does it tell us about his love life? It, the, these cars really are um, depicting him. There's, we are seeing him, like the whole, like making a mess in uh, out of yourself, making making yourself look stupid into the in, in front of the whole world. That that type of thing. Uh, it, again, this is what it's seen. That's that's the optics. Uh, may not be him personally but still um <clears throat> for his love life <clears throat> i'll come back to this card because that's again not a good card for for his love life um it's not a good card um, so let's take a look at the future. I will. I'll look at. I'll put this card here. Uh, let me just take a small pebble here. Uh, let's take a look at the future. <clears throat> the Queen of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Four of um of cups so queen of cups in the future <clears throat> i'll do a special reading for him for his um uh, future love um, an FD but um, it looks like that 
in his future what he's showing and you can hear it from my voice that it really has a hard time coming out we have the future duchess fd the woman he is destined to be with being sorrowful being you know <clears throat> looking at her heart and seeing a guy who's you know not looking at her um <clears throat> So there's definitely, definitely something he's not there or prepared to see. And I'll, and I'll draw another card for, for that one. But the Two of Pentacles is like <clears throat> quite um, um, in, in, in very short time, in a short time. Um, he will have to um, look at the money. Is it money coming in or is it money going out? If you have to fight everything. And uh, the second uh, hidden card, if you look at it here. The second hidden card is uh, fighting off enemies left and right. Not knowing who's your friend or who's your foe. And... <clears throat> being always on the lookout and uh, always trying to, def uh, you know, being in a situation where you have to defend yourself and everything. So he, I believe there will be a lot of, uh, like, money going out, like, faster than they come in. It seems like the entire um, <clears throat> situation is not that profitable. It's not that profitable. And here we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is usually take a deep breath, don't do anything, ignore. In this case, it's actually the opposite. Look at the money, don't ignore the signs, and do something about it. Now, when I say do something about it, usually that is a card that is uh, <clears throat> heralding <clears throat> oh my throat cleared suddenly it is a card that is heralding the um, the awakening from the um unreconcilable differences type of marriage that you're in and starting to contemplate still not take action but contemplate about a, a divorce it's it's really you know it's the awakening to a divorce so let's look at the future mm. uh, the future is about Is it one card? Why do I want just one card? But anyway, all right. That is actually a, a question that I really wanted to. Um, I really wanted to um, <laughs> what's the hidden card? You see it here hidden in her card is seven of pentacles so we have seven of swords and seven of pentacles awesome awesome all right so how will you continue with the cards now let's look at the present for the present we got the uh the queen of uh, of swords in that deck of cards we have um, a lot more imagery than um, symbolism in the imagery than in the cards themselves. So that specific card is the, the queen, not the queen, the goddess Artemis. Goddess Artemis is about protection, really a protection of, of uh, orphan children. Of children who do not have parents or mm, I'd say born without a mother 
whatever that is that's what's coming down born without a mother um so his current love life in and what the hidden is the hidden triad is <clears throat> He's doing all of this for for his child. He's doing all of this for his child. But in the end, he needs to wake up, really wake up. Because separating, let, let's say, a lot of people, a lot of um, divorced children end up in... Uh, in um, in marriages that end up in divorce but that's another story um, they do that a lot of those children have um, fantasies and the fantasies are about being uh, stuck in the marriage for the children and that's a, that's a child's that's a children's fantasy a child wants their parents together and subconsciously very often especially the second child is trying to bring back the parents together and in their own life when they grow up they have this really strong um, feeling that it you know it doesn't matter how things happen as long as I am you know um, I'm responsible I will not be like my my mother or like my father I will not walk out on the marriage I will stay in the marriage I will be the parent that my parents were not and that is wrong that is wrong and that's what Artemis is coming here for to warn the petulant the um, emotionally um, uh, um, the, the swinging emotions uh, young man it is warning him that uh, uh, being in a relate, uh, being happy, and loving your child, whether you're together or not, is what the child needs. The child needs that more than two people in a relationship that is not happy. And there are a lot of signs already, and the the world the uh let's say um uh it's not pierce morgan's fault he's just a, a commentator but the world is now now like a mirror for him for what he has become for that woman um megan marco and is that a good thing not necessarily um Now, for the future, for the future, again, we have a disconnect with FD. And in a way, that's understandable because we have, he, he's preoccupied. He has a child to, I would say, save. Uh, maybe a second child in the making, uh, in the, um, let's say, yeah, not in the making, but um, uh, ordered through the mailbox. Um, uh, mm, he, he's preoccupied. He's he's busy with his own life's mess, uh, and he needs to start waking up for that. And and the cards, the cards over here, they are they are supporting that he will start to wake up. He will start to see things as they really are not as his um wounded child um wants them to be in an ideal world um now <clears throat> Two things about his love life are also showing up for the future. For the future, again, we have awakening. And that awakening is for the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is 
we have a woman who has put a spell on to her man and that's not the first time that this car is coming up for Megan representing her actions toward her husband. What is hidden is that he's kind of like forced to do things that he's not proud of or happy with. And we have Aurora Borealis, which is really good imagery here for the Nordic folklore. But um, right now I'm going to, to check that card. Really, what does it represent? Um, and I'll ask it in a second video. So talk to you in a second. Talk to you soon. Bye.